Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley opens the show for the Women's Championship, and you have uh, Rhea Ripley out with Dominic. And early on, we're doing a cat and mouse game with Liv running away until Rhea f- uh, fakes going to the floor when Liv climbs in and gets caught. And that's when Li- uh, Liv is hit with a number of short arm clotheslines. R- Rhea tries for a riptide very early, but Liv stops her and attacks the previously injured shoulder, which Rhea sells like she's dislocated the shoulder and has re-injured she it. She screams, it's out, it's out. The famous words of Samoa Joe. Uh, I guess so, yes. This one a bit more believable. Uh, So she is working with one arm as Liv attacks it with an arm ringer, double knees to the shoulder. We we, we should also note that they've uh, instituted the ref cam, the uh, good old um, pride and, you know, other sports. WCW, the referee. The ref. Yes, yes. The they referee. did not call it the referee, I believe. Um, yes. They called it the ref king. <laughs> there, was a, there was a shot where the, the referee, I guess it was on Seth Rollins. Yeah. It's, we go to the, the like grainy footage of the referee cam, and it's scanning CM Punk. And I, I don't have the man's uh, name here, but God knows he got enough attention with this tweet. <laughs> and he just tweets, Jack Perry's POV over this footage of like CM Punk <laughs> dead staring into oh, this referee no. cam. Uh, oh, you God. have to see the uh, the tweet, but it was- um, So again, like, yeah, uh, the leaf fitting effect, perhaps we can- we uh, Which was a term we did hear used today yes. by a WWE official. That's right, yeah. The um, leaf fitting effect. I don't know how much, like, I've never liked these referee cams. I think they're kind of a neat novelty, especially if it's- The footage like, is also garbage. Like when you see like these pristine, like you're watching this in like 4K and then we go to this yeah. referee cam that looks like it's on my- Goddamn Nokia. Phone. Well, that's what I mean. Like, I'm, I'm doing. We're doing the show off my phone, okay? Like, and it's I, better quality than you saw in this referee cam. Like, yeah. that was my always thing. It was like the footage just looked garbage. I know. And they always tried to do these in MMA. They did them in hockey, and they've done them in wrestling. Yeah, you're telling me like, so you're like, I don't know, 30 years of incredible advancement in technology. We can't get a better referee cam with like HD quality or something like that. Yeah, that's. Um, it, we'll, we'll see. I was never a fan of these, but everyone always tries after. So, like, imagine if we could see from the perspective of the ref. I'm like, I, I've got a great view. So Dom is checking on Rhea and Liv misses Rhea as Dom shoves her out of the way and Liv dives on top of Dominic. Um, so th- this this would be one of those spots that wouldn't exactly make sense by the end, how Dom saved Rhea and... Uh, sometimes you got to just make the sacrifice play in order it. to, you know... Mind games. Yeah. Mind it's games. It. Yeah. So Rhea, in her first... <laughs> Resecuring of her arm drives the arm into the announcer's desk and pops the shoulder back into place. Yeah. Yeah. Does yeah. that work? Um didn't did somebody didn't Ray do it for his eye? Like didn't when the eye came out. What? Put his eye back in by shoving it? Yeah. Did, am I thinking of a movie or something instead? Yeah, I Where, don't know what you're thinking of. <laughs> I don't remember Ray jabbing his eye into the desk. I'm just trying to... Joe might have... Uh, or um, Seth might have tried that. Yeah, I'm just... Wait, okay. So if the eye came out... I'm just thinking back to the eye dislocation. Did it ever go back? How did it go back in? The eye never went back in. Well, in obviously... story, he had one eye. What? Ray, eventually it was popped back in, I have to think. Because if it's... They never explain that. He wore the mask for months with one eye. Well, you could be blinded, but your eye's still there while it's healing. I believe... I don't think it... I don't think it came out, out. Like, I don't think it stayed out. I'm pretty... Uh, chat room, let us know. I'm pretty sure, like... He, okay, I popped out. It's out, it's out. And then I have to think, like... I don't know if the match ended or if he popped the eye back in. This is all just to... I'm trying to just think about it because... Uh, Ray, Ray, Rhea Ripley... Um, Decided to re-pop her own shoulder in by ramming into the to the thing. I thought it was a little too much. <laughs> As I talk about it, man, man just oh shoving God. his eye back in and putting it back into place. I, I I'm I'm totally cool with like I I think it's believable to to sell a dislocation, but when you're popping it back in by ramming yourself into an announce desk and all of a sudden like you're fine enough to wrestle, it just it I don't know. She also did it multiple times. I thought the one was fine, but then she did it again when she popped the arm back out and she had to put it back in. She was like TJ Dillashaw here, like in the, in his last fight where he had to his arm just like popped out. Brian saying Brian saying the match ended when the eye popped out. Okay, so I guess they yeah, popped it. The question it was the did he ever have it put back in? Like, I don't think they ever, they, I, they never explained the eye just growing back on its own. I don't think it grew to back. To the point, I told you that story 
that Matt Camp shared about when they did an they did an interview with Ray with the wrong mask on, so they had to put a graphic up and just say on the phone with Ray because they right. could not show him with the mask that would show his eye was there. Okay, and that was months later. Right, interesting. Okay. So maybe, anyway, you, maybe you put stem cells into the eye. Um, Lib gets out of the prism lock and hits a crucifix bomb, drilling the shoulder into the mat upon impact. So, so Rhea's arm is popped out again, and she's jamming it into the middle turnbuckle, then puts it back in, grabs a chair, and Rhea goes to use the chair when Dominic rips it away. I thought this was a great spot mm -hmm. because it was, everyone's like, oh no, Dom. And then you're, obviously, he has the deniability here. He's protecting Rhea from getting disqualified. Yeah. I thought it was a great spot. And Liv then drop kicks Rhea into Dominic and hits an oblivion major near fall. Like everyone bit on that as the finish. And Dom gets on the apron and he's warning the referee about the chair. This is pretty much a um, same way Liv beat Becky for the title that they brought up. And this time with the ref talking to Dominic, Liv hits an oblivion on top of the chair, pinning Rhea in 15 minutes and 53 seconds. So you're thinking at the end of the match is you have these two questionable um, issues that Dominic committed, but he has defenses for them. Although he did give a smirk immediately after the match result. The smirk was the, was the, the deadpan, yeah. dead band, like the shot. Yeah. And then you know what's about to come because Dom lifts up Liv on the floor and proceeds to kiss her. And this place went insane for this. Okay. And she, he places the title on Liv, leaves with her, and Rhea is left seething in the ring. Pat McAfee, I can't remember if we had commentary by this point, but I can still hear it because uh -huh. everyone was playing the network. It sounded like he went... Like two overboard. He called him a piece of shit. He called him a piece of shit, and which was just, uncensored. It was uncensored. Yeah. Yes. Um, so was yeah. that was that what, the, what was too overboard? Did, did somebody? I just felt he come? was just reacting in such a way that it was almost like was too fake. It was too comical, right? Like the way he was reacting, yeah. um, rather than it like just letting it breathe. Um, yeah. But nonetheless, it was interesting to watch this show. This audience, they were here for storyline payoffs more than they were for wrestling match quality that's kind of the wwe product it kind right? of is but they've also like the in-ring quality has also there's more of an emphasis now under levesque than it was prior but like this audience it was like it was about seeing roman coming back it was about seeing the prog dom and live are Punk. they together CM like Punk. the storylines like all yeah. of that the bracelet mm -hmm. like this was about payoffs to stories and those got the biggest reactions on the show and that was the case i thought they had they had a pretty good opener i like i thought the crowd was really into a lot of the near falls and i think it's a very important follow up for ria because ria cannot be the like i'm heartbroken over the loss of dominic Character. I really don't think that's where you want to play it. And I think also you want to have Rhea be like this dominant force and really keep the focus on like the, like this is Liv and Rhea's story and Dominic is like a piece to it and not like the mastermind of, of it all. Like it's a, it's a very interesting balancing act because I think a lot of people see these as like strong women, whether they are babyface or heel yeah. um, in, in this program where Dominic is, is not like the overarching like power in the equation. Sure. Yeah. I uh, thought the match was captivating. Like, and I, I wasn't the biggest fan of the dislocation and then re um, location, I guess. Um, but it did give you a it reattached. <laughs> Very good. It did give you like a really, you know, easy to follow story throughout the entire match. Rhea Ripley, Babyface going in here, even though she's like so much more powerful than Liv Morgan, um, is handicapped by an injured shoulder that she had to work through throughout the match. Um, I thought that all of that worked out really well. It was easy to understand and allow Liv Morgan to work a bit more aggressively than she usually does. Um, I, 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 I thought maybe I didn't expect them. Okay, so I understand wanting Rhea to be the sympathetic one who gets cheated on, who gets broken up yeah. with, right? I also she, think she was on the verge of tears in the ring. Like yeah. that was the shot. She's like she's seething, but she's holding back tears. I, I get wanting to book the babyface like in, in as that character, but to me, Rhea Ripley should have seen all of this coming because she's a smart general type of character. You know, I think that Judgment was Day. that was the that's the contrast to this is that she is that that always manipulated Dominic too yeah. and was 
the she, one in to my me, head. To me, like she should have been revealed as somebody who expected this and was playing and was actually playing Don the entire time. And yes, like I think you could have found, still found another another way to get heat on on uh, on, on on Dominic um, and have him get the upper hand. You know, despite all that. But I, I, I kind of felt like Rhea needed to be portrayed to be a little bit smarter than just the person who got, you know, che cheated on both like in the relationship and also in the match by Dominic. Maybe they'll they'll do an explanation afterwards. I think Raw is going to be completely focused on Judgment Day, and we'll talk sure. about more because there's a lot more to come with the with the group on this show.